Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the green screen effect in Instagram Reels. So please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let's jump into it. So first, let's talk about why one would use the green screen effect. You could use it for fun. Say you have a funny meme video in the background and you want to, you know, do something funny in front of it. <laughs> I don't know, do a cute dance. But for our purposes today, I like to focus on ways that you can use it maybe for your small business, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're self-employed to promote yourself, to create content around education, engagement, you know the drill, all that social media stuff. So to use the green screen effect, you need an image or a video to put in your background. Instagram has a bunch of stock images already, but to make it your own, you can use a video that you've created, you can use one that you pulled from, you know, like a stock image site or Canva, or the way I like to use it is by using a screenshot of something. So for example, if you are a mortgage loan officer and you want to talk about industry updates, maybe talk about what rates are doing, you can do a screenshot in the background and be able to refer to a chart of showing, you know, rate trends. But for today's example, I'm going to pretend that I am doing a tutorial on how to do something. I don't know. So I'm just going to go into Google and type how to ferment food at home. That's nice. I can, I can do that. Okay. So now that I'm here, I am going to click images and, uh, yeah, I want to use this one running to the kitchen. That's the blog. Awesome. I'm going to visit and maybe I want to put their recipe up on the screen. I'm going to screenshot this and jump on over to Instagram. In Instagram, I'm going to go to my profile, click the plus icon at the top, and reel. <laughs> and it used to be, Instagram just changed this recently, it used to be where you would have to search through the templates to find the green screen but now they've made it really easy, probably because it's a really popular filter to use. They've actually added it to this sidebar here. So you can see the person with the dotted square around it. Click that, that is your green screen. And then you can see that you can make yourself smaller. You can angle yourself. You can put yourself in a corner, but nobody puts baby in a corner. And you can also change the background. So I'm gonna click change background. And here you can see Instagram has Again, a lot of stock images. Feel free to use any of them. They're all beautiful. But I'm gonna click camera roll and then click on that image that I just screenshotted. Click on myself. And I'm gonna place myself right there. So I have, you know, your standard tripod that I could use, but I'm gonna make it real easy today. And I'm using this candle. I'm just gonna set her up right here. And anyone can do this. You don't have to let not having the right equipment stop you from making content for social media. You just don't. It doesn't need to be fancy. Actually, fancy is not what people like. Anyway, I, I could go on. So to start recording your video, you would just click the green green screen button. Here I could use this background and I can refer to it. So let's give it a go. Hello everyone, I love fermenting foods. It is my passion. And today I am sharing this recipe with you from a wonderful blog post, a wonderful blog, and I'm excited to share this with you today. So let's get to fermenting. <laughs> okay, what if, what if I wanted to change the background? mid video. I could do that too. I can click change background and I can either pull something else from my camera roll or I can just go to scenes and let's see what we have here. Look at that, a kitchen. Perfect. And I'm going to press the green button again to start recording. So welcome to my kitchen. Stop. Okay, now that's all the, the filming I'm gonna do for this, but 
Let's edit it together. So I'm going to click Next. Hello, everyone. Edit I clips. Let me turn this down. <laughs> so I'm going to click on the clip right here. You can see it's outlined in yellow. And I'm going to use the left slide bar to determine when I want the video to start. Remove this first awkward part. Start there. And then at the end of this clip, let's put it right there. And then we'll click on the second clip. And let's cut that one down as well. Great. And now, let's see how that looks. I do. Actually, I've never seen Olympic foods, but I'm going to learn. Okay. That is so engaging. So now I want to add captions. You always want to add captions. Let's make all of our videos accessible. So I'm gonna click the square smiley face sticker on the top and I'm gonna click captions. Uh, Instagram makes it really, really easy to add captions. So they're really eliminating the barrier to entry here so that everyone has the ability to add captions easily. Okay, so it automatically adds the captions. You can go in here and, you know, edit if you would like. Sometimes it doesn't translate perfectly, but I'm, I'm going to trust the process today. Okay, so you can see that you can't really see it because it is white here. So I'm going to go ahead and play with the captions. I can press this A with the two stars button at the top, and you can see that it will add a background. For you. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add the black background so that when I move out of the way, you can fully see the captions. Great. So now I'm going to press next, add my caption. Then I'm going to edit my cover and I can just slide it around until I find an image that I love. That's a good one. And then I'm going to click Profile Grid, because if you're going to add it to your feed, you want your profile uh, image to look good. So I will adjust it. You can even make it use two fingers and pinch out and in to adjust. So that looks fine right there. Done. And share. There you have it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.